If you wanna know why so many people buy investment real estate long distance, then stick around because I'm going to cover a ton of material on what you need to know before you buy out of state. So don't go anywhere. My name is Kurt Davis with Real Estate Wealth Coaching and today I'm going to talk to you about what long distance investing is and how it works so that by the end of this video, you will be able to determine if it is a strategy that you think will work for you. Now, before I get started, if you would just click that subscribe button and make sure to leave a comment at the end of this video to let me know exactly what you got out of it. So with that being said, Again, I said, my name is Kurt Davis. I've sold well over a thousand homes to real estate investors from all over the country since I got in real estate in 2007. Now my goal for this video is to help you understand how out of state investing works based on my experience helping investors do it themselves. Okay, so investors who look into other markets to buy rental homes do so really for one main reason, and that is they're not able to find good, affordable cash flowing properties in their own market. So they start to look around the country and in other markets that are more, say, favorable for investors. Now, I have had people ask me if I invest in other markets myself. Now, since I'm in Memphis, which is one of the top markets to buy property in, I just buy here at the current time, so I don't have any need really right now to invest anywhere else, but I'm not opposed to it. Uh, now, when you decide you are going to go outside of your own local area to invest, you need to do a lot of research because there are a lot of cities around the country that are considered good cash flow markets. Now, market data is especially important as you should learn as much about the city or cities and their local economy, learn about their major employers, population growth, is it an investor friendly city or state, and many other factors. Now, I would also try to connect with other investors who are investing in the target market and get their opinions and any advice. Biggerpockets.com is a great resource for you to network with other investors uh, who are also around the country and in these specific cities as well. Uh, once you have narrowed it down to the market that you want to invest in, I highly suggest taking a trip there so you can learn about the city, drive around, get a feel for the area and the neighborhoods. Uh, make sure to reach out and try to meet up with any local professionals in the area to learn from, learn about them and the city. So and this is ultimately gonna help you narrow your focus on where to invest. And reach out to realtors, property managers, flippers, turnkey providers, local investors, uh, they're going to be a great resource. Most investors are going to invest usually in one of two ways. You will either hire a realtor to help you or you will go with a turnkey company. Now there are advantages and disadvantages of both. As a licensed realtor and turnkey flipper myself, I will share with you some of I will share some information on how I have helped investors as their realtor and as a turnkey provider. <clears throat> now if you go the turnkey route, you are going with a company that has essentially purchased and renovated the home. In some cases, they will already have a renter in place at the time of your purchase closing. Some turnkey companies own the property management company. Now, a turnkey company really is all about convenience as they have a system in place for you to take advantage of. They are designed to cater specifically to the out-of-state investor. Their pricing on the homes that they sell are usually always at full market value. Most investors who go this route do so simply out of convenience and the fact that they don't have the time to do it or they don't want to do it themselves. Now, most turnkey companies offer some type of limited warranty on the homes that they sell, usually for a designated period of time uh, after you purchase the home, they will cover those repairs. Now, if you decide to use a realtor and not go the turnkey route, make sure you have one that has knowledge about the investing market, because if you don't, you will not have that great or a productive of an experience. At times, investors con will contact me and they want me to help them buy a rental home. And sure, I'll act as their realtor. Uh, buying this way, the investor is hoping to get a similar home 
but also not pay full market value. They get a better deal and usually the rent to price ratio is better. Now, as their realtor, I also have market knowledge and help I'll help inform them about the investing market. I also even help them connect with contractors, property managers, you know, they'll take advantage of my experience. Now, this is why it is important to have a realtor with investing knowledge. Now, one downside to this is uh, when any issues happen after the purchase, uh, the repairs are on the investor. There is no warranty that usually comes when they use a realtor buying this way. Now, lastly, I want to talk about property management. Now, if you go turnkey, then most likely they will have in-house management that you will go with. Uh, property management is so important to the success of the investor. So it is absolutely critical to make sure to learn about the company and how they operate. Now, most management companies, at least in my market, have very similar fee structures. They all charge a placement fee for every new tenant, which usually ranges anywhere from 50% to the full first month's rent, uh, eight to 10% monthly management fee, yearly lease renewal fees, should the tenant resign at a, at a new term, and usually some type of percentage markup on the repairs. One of the biggest things that I have found that has helped investors is to work with a management company that focuses on lease terms that are longer than the standard 12 month lease. In my personal experience, homes seem to turn over more often when they sign a 12 month lease. Now, if you can get a company who does say 18 to 24 month leases as a standard, chances are higher that your tenants will renew at a higher rate. Now, when you have a home go vacant, you know, you're gonna have to pay your mortgage payment for one to two months. You're gonna have to make some type of rent ready repairs and then you're gonna have to pay the tenant placement fee again. This is absolutely why it's so critical to keep tenants in long term. This is how you win in real estate investing. Now, I'm gonna wrap this up, and I know I've given you a lot to think about when it comes to the idea of out-of-state investing or long-distance investing, whatever you wanna call it. I know it can seem really overwhelming and maybe even intimidating. Just make sure that you follow some of the steps that I've laid out in this video. So if you have liked this video, please click that like button uh, and make sure to leave me a comment below and let me know what you got out of the video. Let me know what you liked, what you didn't like, what you learned. Let me know what I missed. So I will see you guys in the next video.